record our phone. Why not? Because security purposes, you can't record us. Is that like a law? Yes, it is. What, can you state the law? You guys cannot record us. Can you please state the law? Sir, please do not record us. Um, no. Security purposes, you cannot record us. Are you a police officer? No, I am not. Okay. So why are you giving us. me orders? You cannot record us. Yes, I can. Sir, they know inside, sir. They will let law enforcement know. They're going to inform you, sir. They're going to inform you. He's about to get an education on the First Amendment. He's gonna do the walk of shame for giving me wrong information. Is that a threat? Is that disorderly conduct, Sergeant? That that I just Oh, it is a threat. So if if I want to press charges, I that means I already have the evidence I need, right? This that's disorderly conduct, okay? That's disorderly conduct. That's disorderly conduct. I'm trying to defuse the situation. I understand, but that's the Is that a crime or not? And you're now instigating. Is that a crime or not? Is that a crime or not? Is that a crime or not? That's a crime, Sergeant. You did a great job until now. You did a great job until now. She just threatened me in front of the cop. And he and, and, and he says it's because of me. Because of me. Look, he, the cop is making sure the criminal gets away. The cop is, make, is doing the right thing by ma the lady who made threats or I wasn't exactly there, but who who was out of line. So le let's ask him. Wasn't that disorderly conduct? I, I, I could have sworn I saw some disorderly conduct, Sergeant. That's the walk of shame. You can't let people do that. Walk of shame. He's getting like this. <laughs> All right, guys, so what did that guy say to you, Enrique? Oh, uh, he was giving me orders. Stop recording. He said it was the law. So he's about to do the walk of shame in a couple of seconds. This guy. That lady just threatened me in front of the cop. He didn't do nothing. He didn't even give her a verbal warning. No, he did do something. He took that lady off the premises and told her to leave, stood right there, escorted her to a car, waited her to leave so she couldn't get in her car, get back out. He waited for her to leave and then went back inside and probably informed what happened. This is a great video right here. This is gonna be seen by thousands. Oh, for sure. DMVs always get hits like this. Did the law change? Hey, you got your hand in your weapon? Why you scared, bro? Why you scared? That's a mass education right there. Everyone in that building now, whether you were an employee 
or whether you're just a bystander or whether you're delivering the people's money to the people's building, or whether you just happen to be chased from the Alamo Report who already knew this and came here to help Mr. America, now you know. The First Amendment cannot de be defeated and we will not let that expire on our time. That's why we do this. People are trying to destroy the First Amendment and we will never let that die. Like, share, subscribe. Alan Report, Auditing America, Demand the Truth. Find Auditing America on Minds, Instagram, and Facebook. Now.